For the first time ever, I'll be trying Wacko's Chips. These are basically bugles, aren't they? They're bugles. Well, regardless, I'm excited. They're barbecue flavored. Love me some barbecue. This is the third part of my Italian food series. Instead of candy this time, we're doing chips. And I know this is from Italy because it says San Carlo up there. And San Carlo is a famous place in Italy. I think the last episode that I did, though, was Danish. It was like a Danish candy. I, I don't know. All the food that I do on these episodes is from Italy. It's all technically Italian food. At least that's my weak excuse. Love the packaging on this one. Look at this bright, beautiful green. And look at the word, the, the font that was used. That is a, that is a pretty font. Those little eyes up there, it's funny. I don't know what those eyes are doing. They're crazy eyes. They're like, what? Here we are. Enough stalling. Time to open it up. Use the air pocket. Ah. Ah. Whew. That is a cheesy smell. Not an explosion like last time. I don't want to exaggerate anything. I want the show to be as honest as possible. But it is a... It's a cheesy, cheesy smell, I will say. Who cut the cheese? <laughs> That's the classic humor you'll get on this show. I try not to do that. I know a lot of YouTubers will make corny jokes and just pretend like they're funny because they're corny. I try not to do that, but even I, even I, ha I, even I can be a little weak to that sort of stuff. Blame it on the che cheese fumes. Blame it on the cheese fumes. That'd be a great thing to put on, like, a t-shirt. Okay. Really, enough stalling. It's time to take a bite. All right. Down the hatch. It's a bugle. This is a bugle. That, that, that's a bugle. That, that's what that is. It's very sweet. I, I don't really taste any difference between this and a bugle. Uh, it, it definitely has the barbecue flavor too. A little salty, a little bit. It's more sweet. That's a lot of sweetness. I do have a pasty taste to them. Let's try just licking it. Uh, oh! Yes. Mmm. I'm gonna let one like soak in my mouth. Has anyone ever done that? Let it soak in my mouth. It's soaking in there. I don't know if I can do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I bit into it. Sorry, I'm not that kind of eater. I have no patience. Every time I get a minute, it's like <laughs> two seconds in the mouth. I like how some of these dip, though. They're not my favorite things in the world. They're kind of boring. They're not bad. Definitely not bad. This is definitely one of the happier episodes I've done. They're good. I mean, they're good. What can you say? They definitely have an addictive quality to them. You know, honestly, I could see why somebody would be addicted to these. They are very addictive. Not particularly good, just addictive. And the barbecue definitely helps. Barbecue is probably the best flavor. If you're going to get this, you should get barbecue. I've heard there's a ketchup flavor. I was not able to find it, sadly. I looked all around, but all I could find was the barbecue, so... Maybe one day. Hopefully. I'd love to try a ketchup flavor. I've never done that, and I'm not a big fan of ketchup, so it would probably be all sorts of laughs. There's like barbecue crumbs everywhere. There's there's just barbecue all over my freaking... I think it's on my computer. Oh, it's on my computer too. Isn't that wonderful? Now it's time for Fun with Bugles. <laughs> bugles don't really work as bugles. Cheesy. 
would be better with a hole in it. No, it's way worse. I shall call the god of chips. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I was expecting, like, the Pringles guy with the, the mustache and, like, monocle. Is that a real character? I think it is. But I'm thinking I like the peanut guy. Hey everyone, Future Seth here. So apparently I was hit by the Mandela effect. The Pringle Man does not have a monocle. And I didn't even know at the time that this was a real Mandela effect. So, spooky. Maybe it could be like a little tiny tornado, like a cheese natto. Tragically, many were killed when the cheese natto struck their homes. The onlookers on the scene called the taste Average. <laughs> They're either claws or little hats for my fingers. Bye bye. Oh.